the purpose of TALF, and I want to bring that in, is to help this youth channelize the enormous energy they have and also to make sure that the aspiration gets an expression. So, in TALF, <clears throat> we thought of a structure where this event, which has a few leaders who talk about both the pluses and the minuses, is captured and available to our community through digital forms. The next level conversation is with the student themselves. We call it the young TALF. And some people here have had engagements with the students. Their conversation is a series of questions of how do we get ahead? What do we do? And I think providing them answers, but also providing them the red flags is part of what the exercise is. But largely those discussions are around, they're wanting to find an identity, they're wanting to create a history, they're wanting to understand themselves. So the first part of the conversation, the positive part of the conversation needs to find a way to reach our youth when they are engaging between themselves to see how will I fuel my aspiration. So we've done some attempts, we've started some attempts and we're going to engage more and more institutions and students across institutions to come in and talk around whatever content we create through messages or methods like this. We did an attempt at the next level which is school children because when students come into college, sometimes we say it's already too late. So we had an exercise and we called that the junior talent. We took the same kind of material to a group, a school where there were students from many schools who had got together for a mock UN event. So while the aspiration level there are high, I think they're far away from these issues of identity in the day-to-day -day discussion. And the challenge is that if we don't introduce this question in their mind at that age, by the coming to college, they're already anti-establishment, cynical and all of that. So the, uh, the chance to root this idealism into the mind is lost. So in our, in our very mechanical, structural engineering sense, we are saying there's a TALF conversation like this and many more where issues are raised, both the pluses and minuses, and we capture them. At the college level, students love to engage in interaction. So when we had the young TALF, we had students from China, we had a few from, from Korea, we had the geography students, sociology students, very much more vibrant in their argument than the engineers. But the engineers sat along with them and I'm sure there was a rub off. We, ex we expect to do much more of that, but we still don't have an answer of how to really go to the audience, which we should catch at the young age, which is in the schools. So these are three levels we are looking at at this point in time and, and wanting to work systematically and putting content together. The form that we want to put together, and when we've studied the centers for Asian studies in the US or Europe or wherever, the Western lens as we call it, it's about a very big and well-endowed library and a lot of researchers. That's the format. We think that going forward that format uh, can be replaced by something which is much more virtual, which is much more global. So today sitting at their computer, children, if they were given a good method to access cont which is all, content which is all over the world, just curate it properly, redirect them to wherever they have to go. So a digital TALF concept is what we are looking at where conversations like this are very much part of the exercise, but they are used to trigger many more conversations. And I think social media lives on some real situations, but then feeds on itself. So for us, the architecture of TALF going forward is going to be this series of interventions, but increasingly putting all that content into digital form so that young people with their devices come into such events, but then go back curious to learn more, curious to engage and then create communities of those discussions which are becoming more and more vibrant. So, that's what we are intending to do.